great stories that define our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with this week's Montana Moment, brought to you by Montana Chevy Dealers. Passing on life lessons and skills are time-honored ways of keeping professions healthy and vibrant. It's enriched when one generation gifts its knowledge and passion to a new generation anxious to learn. It's part of Montana's Western culture, a way of life mixed with hard work and practical know-how. Kevin Mackey has our Montana moment. The Montana Horseman Saddle Building School near Belgrade's rustic Western look fits well with its mission. Here, students learn the art of Western saddle making. I'm Ben Merritt from uh, Nephi, Utah. Debbie Moran. I'm Isaac Trueblood and I'm from Kansas. Isaac, Debbie and Ben are learning saddle making under Dale Moore, the school's founder and master saddle maker. Dale's love of saddles began as a youngster growing up on a ranch in Oregon. Trying to fix up old old saddles. You'd never know it, but Dale is 92 years old. There's just not a lot of people that have that much knowledge and still going at it at 92 years old. He became a teacher. He taught school in Helena, where he'd climb the ranks to become a principal in Helena, then later a superintendent in Jordan, Montana. When I retired, I got to thinking that somebody might like to learn my hobby of building a western saddle. When he and his wife Norma started the school more than 20 years ago, they discovered there were a whole lot of students who wanted to do just that. The saddle school started growing. The school teaches students how to build different styles of western saddle. We're building a wade saddle. The wade saddle is one of the most common. The saddle that was developed to fit the wide back quarter horses when they got popular and it sets the center of gravity down low on the horse for roping or uh, mountain riding. We study the conformation of horses and we try to build a saddle that will fit the horse and also the rider. Students come from a variety of backgrounds. What they have in common is a love of horses and riding. A lot of young uh, kids that come off of ranches especially. Um, I'm a farrier. Part of the time and I also ranch for a couple different outfits. Isaac is in an advanced saddle making course. He's building a swell fork saddle. The fork here it's it's got swells as opposed to like a wade saddle and as far as a finish I'm doing a, a rough out finish. He's fine tuning it to make it his own. I intend to use this saddle to ranch out of and something durable that you can use every day consistently. Ben's saddle will have a slick finish. Ben enrolled in the school to build a new career. I've got a semi truck and I, I haul dirt around Utah County and uh, I'd like to try to get away from that and maybe start building, building saddles for, for ranch cowboys. Ben has always enjoyed leather work. There's quite a few ranches in Utah and definitely quite a few horses so I think if, uh, if a guy can make a good saddle he could probably make a living doing it. There are mostly students that want to start a, a new career. And they do. The instructor teaching Ben is Dale's grandson, Cody McDowell. Cody is following in his grandpa's footsteps. I would like to continue grandpa's legacy with the shop as well as be a saddle maker, as good of a saddle maker as I can be. Cody says his grandpa taught him that there is magic in leather work. Just a flat piece of leather and turn it into a working piece of art, essentially. It's just amazing to me. Luke Downing built his first saddle here several years ago. And for the last nine years, I've made probably a dozen saddles and kind of do it on a recreational basis. Luke passed the skills Dale gave him as gifts to his own family. Just finished a saddle for my granddaughter. The school has graduated several hundred students, many from all over the world, Germany, Switzerland. South Africa, England, uh, Ireland, Norway. The school is approved for veterans training. And we have a lot of those students come through the school, especially those that have worked on ranches, that kind of a background. Many are disabled veterans. Dale says vets tell him this highly focused, creative work is the best therapy they found. Dale, the teacher, says at 92, nothing gives him more joy than seeing students excel. The student will react to what he has done, and you see the proud look on their face. That's, that's joy for me. It is an intensive four-week program that requires a student's full attention and time. Most of the students live here on campus. Dale's classroom is filled with saddle history. This saddle went up to Alaska in the gold rush of 1896. Dale and, built uh, many of these saddles, one in memory of his favorite horses. His name was Jody, 
Uh, here's Brownie. This saddle for his late wife, Norma, is the most special of all. They were married 68 years. It says riding is flying without wings. Call it testament to a good saddle riding smooth on that flight without wings. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana. If you want to watch this story again, or if you missed one of my previous stories, you can watch every Montana moment in a special segment on our website at NBCMontana.com.